Having trouble connecting to MongoDB Atlas? Spend hours searching and still stuck. You are not alone and this video is got it covered. I'll show you exactly how to set up a free MongoDB Atlas cluster, get the correct connection string, whitelist your IP address and connect your app using Mongoose step by step. And once we are connected, I'll even show you how to insert data in into your database using Postman. So you know everything's working. No more guesswork, let's get it connected the right way. Alright, enough talking, let's jump right in. First, head over to the official MongoDB website. The interface has been updated recently, so you won't see the login button right away. No worries, just hover over the products tab at the top and from the drop down, click on Atlas. Now, hit get started. If you don't have an account yet, go ahead and sign up. It's free. Once you are registered, log into your account. If you have already signed up before, just scroll down to the bottom and click sign in simple. Once you are inside your dashboard, the first thing you will do is create a new project. I have already covered this step by step in separate video. So if you need a more detailed walkthrough, check out the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen right now. Cool, project done, now let's create a cluster. Click create, then choose the free option. Pick your preferred region somewhere close to you and click create deployment. Now it will ask you to set up a username and password for your database user. This part is important. Copy the password and keep it somewhere safe. We'll need it very soon. Click create database user. Next, click choose a connection method and select drivers. Now, this is where a lot of people used to get stuck. The connection string wasn't showing up properly before. But now, MongoDB has updated the UI and you'll see the full connection string right here. It includes your username and password placeholder. Just copy the entire string, click done and let MongoDB finish setting up your clusters. It might take a couple of minutes, just be patient. Once it's ready, it's time to plug this into your code. So open up your project in VS Code. If you already have a .env file, great. Open it up and paste your MongoDB connection string there, something like this. If you don't have a .env file, you can just the paste the string wherever you have created your database URL variable. Just make sure it's not hard coded in production. Save your files, start your server and boom. If everything's set up right, you are now connected to your MongoDB Atlas database. Congrats! If your connection was successful, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear it. Subscribe now. Now, let's move on to inserting data into Atlas using Postman. I already have my RESTful API set up for this. And if you are not familiar with how to do that, check out the Find My Restaurant series. Scan the QR code or use the link in description to jump into that tutorial. Here's how it works. I have got a post request set up in Postman. In the body tab, I have written some sample JSON data for a restaurant. Let's go ahead and change the restaurant name. Then hit send. Status 200. OK. That means the request was successful. Let's go back to MongoDB Atlas and check if the data was actually inserted. First, refresh your browser, then click browse collections. You'll see the restaurant collection here, and boom, our restaurant document is sitting right there. Perfect. Let's try inserting another one just to be sure. Change the name, rating and location. Click send another 200, ok, head back to atlas, refresh the collection and there it is. Now we have two restaurant documents stored, everything's working smoothly. And just to check our read operation, switch the method in Postman to get, click send and now you can see all the restaurant documents in your database. So at this point, you have set up a free MongoDB Atlas cluster connected to your app using Mongoose, inserted data into it through Postman, fetch that data right back. Not bad at all, right? If you have successfully made the connection and inserted your data, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your success story. And if you are still stuck somewhere, just drop your question below and I'll try my best to help you out. 
If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Octagonal for more coding tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.